Good morning, dear friends. Welcome back to our social study class. And the chapter which we were concentrating in our class is opposition to British rule in Karnataka. But as in the last class, we were discussing about the Sangoli Rayana, the person of Kitur, or we can call him as a tiger of Kitur, one who has a fought in against of the Britishers, and for making the independent Kitur, what are the sacrifices he has done? That all the things in the previous class are very clearly we have discussed. Whereas in today's class we are going to discuss about the rebellion of Amar Sulya. So we need to understand what's the meaning of the Amar Sulya. Amar Sulya is the name of a, a particular region, particular place which comes under the Canara regions or else which comes under the Kodagu regions or all. So that we can call it as a Amar Sulya. So here basically this rebellion or this revolt it has started by the farmers or we can call it as a farmers revo uh, revolutions or the farmers uh, rebellions in against of the Britishers. So what made the farmers to be anger in against of the Britishers? What are the particular reasons are there? And in initial stages, this rebellion is started from which are the places? So these things we are going to concentrate in today's class of us, my dear children. So please have a glance towards the board. Uh, this rebellion, basically it started from the Farmers, so therefore it is called as a farmers rebellion. Also, we can call it as uh, it's it's not only called as Amar Sulya rebellion. Even we can call it as a farmers rebellion. Also, we can call it out which is held in Karnataka. So the rebellion needs to be understood. The backdrop of the political situations uh, prevalent in the coastal Karnataka and the Kodagu regions uh, during the year of. Uh, 1835 to 1837 so the incidents which has taken place in the regions of karnataka and kodagu area so those incidents made the farmers to be enraged in against of the britishers especially this incident it held in between of 1835 to 1837 itself the particular incident is there. So because of that particular incident, because of the particular factor, the rebel, the farmers of Indians, they become a rebel, rebel in against of the Britishers. So therefore, we can call them as a rebellions. So let's have a glance at what was the incident, uh, why they had become uh, against of Britishers. That we'll see. The Britishers uh, dethroned, uh, removing from the kingship, the Britishers dethroned the rulers of uh, Kodagu. Suppose the name is Chikadeva Rajendra of a Haleri dynasty in the year of 1834. He was later transferred to Vellore through the Bangalore, then again he transferred to Kashi. So this was the things which was continuously going on with the Chikadeva Rajendra. So this made the people of Kodagu to be the anger in against of the Britishers. So what's the particular incident? The Britishers said they dethroned the Kodagu ruler. They dethroned the ruler of Kodugu, whose name is Chikadeva Rajendra, not only they dethroned him, they transferred him from one place to another, another place as in the mark of insulting him. So they transferred him towards uh, uh, the place called as Vellur through the Bangalore. Then again from the Bangalore they had uh, shifted him towards uh, the place called as Kashi. So this made the people of Kodugu to be the anger in against of the Britishers. They started to think that why the Britishers are doing such all the games with our king. Chikadeva Rajendra Vadeyar, first of all he has dethroned from the kingship, whereas in Kodagu there is no ruler, so there is no kingship and all, only the British power it is going on, not only these things, even they are shifting our ruler from one area to another area, they are transferring him, they are shifting him from one person, one place, particular place to another place. Suppose if you are thinking that he is in Bangalore, then he is, he is in the Vellore place. So the next moment will be, he, he, he is going to be shifted out at the place called as the Bangalore. If he is in the Bangalore, then he will be shifting to the Kashi. So there is no particular place for him. Neither they are not at all, uh, as an evidence or they are not at all uh, showing uh, to the Chikadeva Raja Vadeendra to, to the people of his. Or else they, they might have British or some might have done something else with the Chikadeva Raja Vadeya. So therefore, whenever we are going to meet him, they are just asking us, they are just informing us that he has shifted from this place to that place. And when we are going to that place, then they are saying that he has shifted to other places. Sir. So because of this reason, the people of uh, this particular area, the Kodagu regions, they become again uh, they become in against of uh, British. Sir. So this was, we can call it as uh, the main key point for the rebel, uh, to be the rebel in against of Britishers. So next, 
the incident created political instability in the Kodogu. As we know, the Kodogu's ruling ship and all it is completely demolished by the Britishers because when they had dethroned the Chikadeva Rajendra. So then what happened? By the time a few people of a few members among the farmers they become a, a rebel in against of the Britishers and they started to be the leading entire the rebellion group. So among them the prominent names are like as a Swami Aparampara, then again a Kalyana Swami and a Puttabasappa. Swami Aparampara, Kalyana Swami and a Puttabasappa. So these three members they have declared that they are belong to the family uh, they are belong to the family of uh, uh, Chikadeva Rajendra and they are belong to the dynasty of uh, Haleri. So they are going to be get continued to rule over the Haleri. They have declared, they have declared in against of British. Uh, so directly they are saying that we are also belongs to the family of uh, Haleri. We are also from the family of uh, Chikadeva Rajendra. So after him, if, the, if the, there is no king to rule over that in a sense, uh, we are the people there, those who are going to take care of entire the Kodagu. So the British, uh, you need not to be in interfere in between of us. So this was the thing which uh, the three members uh, Swami Aparampara, Kalyana Swami and the Puttabasappa, the farmer. One, these two, three members they have declared in against of the Britishers. So um, uh, maximum people or maximum farmers of Kodugu they were in support of them. So therefore it is called as a uh, farmer revolt we can call. So then Britishers understood that Swami Aparampura is uh, the person one who is uh, leading this rebellion and if you are letting the Swami Aparampara in this manner in a free handed way so one or another day today or tomorrow in future he may be the troubling for he may be the trouble for us. Uh, so better we should have to be captured and throw him into the jail so that they thought and they arrested so they captured uh, Swami Aparampara and threw him into the jail in the year of uh, 1834. And after this, uh, the, the leading ship of uh, the rebellion of uh, Kodagu, it, it is going to shift it towards uh, uh, the person called uh, Swami Kalyan. Kalyana Swami. So then Kalyana Swami, he has continued the leading of uh, rebellions. Uh, even he too, was all, uh, he too was also arrested in the year of uh, 1837. He arrested uh, Swami Kalyana Swami. Uh, was uh, arrested uh, by the Britishers in the year of 1837 and threw into the jail of uh, Mysore. Whereas uh, Swami Aparampara, he arrested by the Britishers uh, in the year of uh, 1834 and he threw into the jail of uh, Bang Mangalore, sorry, Bangalore. So the, out of three members, right now the two members are there in the jail. Swami Aparampara and uh, Kalyana Swami and the uh, last one person is remaining whose name is uh, Puttabasappa. So what are his achievements that we have to concentrate here. So Puttabasappa he continued the Kodagu rebellion which was uh, uh, halfly which was uh, halfly done by these two greatest uh, personalities so Swami Aparampara and Swami Kalyana Swami. So these two members were done the rebellions are, uh, they have uh, continued the rebellion for a little while and after that it is being continued by the Puttabasappa. So he is the person one who is going to be lead it out uh, then which are the regions uh, comes under the Amara Sulya that we have to understand. The areas of Amara Sulya are first one is the Sulya then again uh, Ballari then again Putturu. So these are the major places uh, which comes under the Amar Sulya or we can call as uh, these are the major places uh, which are the part of uh, Amar Sulya region. Sir. So now this Amar Sulya region it is going to led by the Puttabasappa. So the Puttabasappa is interesting thing what in a sense he was a person one who used to be wherever he was going he used to be say he, is, uh, uh, he used to be recognized by the different names itself. Uh. In actual sense his name is a Puttabasappa. Suppose if he is shifting or if he is moving towards the place called as a Sulya. So the Sulya people he was informing that my name is Kalyana Swami. My name is Kalyana Swami and I am the person one who is going to be continuing the leading of Swami Aparampara. My name is Kalyana Swami and I am going to be continuing the procession or the rebellion. I am going to lead the rebellion and I am the successor of Swami Aparampara. So these are the things which he used to tell to the people in uh, suppose if he is going to the Sulya. Then again from Sulla if he is going to the Ballari or Putturu, so there he is going to recognize himself or he used to be say his name is uh, Swami Aparampara. So therefore the people of that particular region, so when they are, get, when they are getting that, the rebellion it was uh, started by the Swami Aparampara. Uh, whereas by staying in the Puttur itself, uh, uh, in an initial stage if they come to know that in Kodagu the rebellion is started by the Swami Aparampara, they may not be seen him. 
in those days the media and all that much of a forward it was not at all there they may not be see the photo and all so right now these two members are in the jail right now in a sense in the history i am saying okay swami aparampara and kalyana swami these two members were there in the jail so now puttabasappa was only the person one who was out of the jail so therefore he want to continue the procession he want to continue the rebellion against the britishers so then wherever he used to go he was recognizing himself with a different names so that the rebellions get much attracted towards him and they should get a complete enthusiastic energy to fight in against of the british sir uh, swami aparampara himself he is leading us they used to feel it out and they were giving complete support to uh, puttabasappa then again uh, in other places if he is going there he was recognizing that my name is a kalyana swami the other people were feeling that kalyana swami himself he is uh, leading us so let us be with him so but in actual sense his name was puttabasappa this is this is what we can consider puttabasappa as quite interesting thing then again he took entire the rebellion at one particular regions at part, uh, one particular area then he has instructed them in a clear manner until and unless uh, we cannot uh, until and unless we won't defeat the british still then we cannot uh, conquer the country till then we cannot get uh, ruling over the particular places of our son then again he promised to all the rebellions he promised to all the rebellions farmers he promised to each and every richest person those who were uh, those who used to come under the particular reason sir that he has promised he is going to be once if he has become the ruler of uh, uh, the particular area then he is going to remove the taxation from the salt and the taxation from the tobacco tobacco taxation and uh, salt taxation agin kal dolgade british ru astuti gagle ee uppina mele ati hechina tax anna hakidru amele tobacco tambaku anta kelthivala adr mele nu kuda ati hechina tax anna hakidru ಸೊ ಈತ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ರೈತರಿಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಹೆಸರಿಂದ ಗುರುತಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ತನ್ನ ಸ್ವಂತ ಹೆಸರನ್ನ ಹೇಳಿರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಆನಂದ್ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಅಪರಂಪರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅಂತ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಇನ್ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಹಂಗ್ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅಪರಂಪರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಬ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಜೈಲಿನೊಳಗಡೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಜೈಲಿನೊಳಗಡೆ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಈತ ಅವ್ರ ಹೆಸರನ್ನ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಜನರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಗೂಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ವಿರುದ್ಧವಾಗಿ ಹೋರಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಅಸ್ತ್ರವನ್ನ ಹೇಳಿತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಅಸ್ತ್ರದ ಹೆಸರೇ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ರೈತರು ಸೊ ರೈತರ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ತೆರಿಗೆ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದು ಹಾಕ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ತೆರಿಗೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಉಪ್ಪಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರುವಂತ ತೆರಿಗೆಯನ್ನ ತೆಗಿತೀನಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೊ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತಂಬಾಕು ಅದೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇರುವಂತ ತೆರಿಗೆಯನ್ನ ತೆಗಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತಂದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ರೈತರು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಜನರು ಈ ತರ ಹತ್ರ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಈ ಪುಟ್ಟ ಬಸಪ್ಪ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಅ ವಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಈ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ಟ್ರೆಸರಿ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ವಶಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ದುಡ್ಡು ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತದ್ದು ಆ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ವಶಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ವಶಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನ ಅಧಿಕಾರವನ್ನು ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಪುಟ್ಟ ಬಸಪ್ಪ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ರೈತ ಆಯ್ತ ಆ ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇದೇ ಸೈನಿಕರನ್ನ ಕಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಅದೇ ಸೈನಿಕರನ್ನ ರೆಬಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಆ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಮಾಶ್ ದ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನಿಧಾನವಾಗಿ ತನ್ನ ಸೈನಿಕರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೈತರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಿಗಾಗ್ಲೆ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರು ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್
ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಇವನ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದ ರೆವಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೂ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಪುಟ್ಟ ಬಸಪ್ಪ ದನಗೇನ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಪ್ಪ ದನಗೇನ್ ಬಂಗಾರಸ ದನಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಕೆಡಂಬಡಿ ರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಗೌಡ ದನಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಗುಡೆ ಗುಡ್ಡೆಮಣಿ ಅಪ್ಪಯ್ಯ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ completely supported to the put of a support to revolt against the britishers and they had hanged till the death ellaru kuda british ro avaranna gallige haaktare sai varu kuda gallige haaktare so ee rithiyagi rebellion complete agutte put of a support kathenu kuda mugiyutte then again amar sulla rebellion kuda ee rithiyagi mukta yagutte id not only these things my dear children if you are turning the pages of a history there you can find that thousands together cross together people are there those who are half sacrifice their names but uh, somewhere else in a corner of the history their names have completely hidden out it's not be taken okay so in the next class of ours we will uh, go towards the other rebellions and all rebellions of a raichur then again venkatappa nayaka and all so many are there those all the things we'll see in the next class till then please stay safe thank you